week. Well, uh, things were things were harsh today in the New York tabloids against uh, Matt Harvey yesterday. We, we played it on the show. Obviously, he got shelled. The sound afterward, uh, no guarantees will start again. And then he was uh, he was not feeling so good. And, and, you know, now, Frank, the Mets have a little bit of a crisis a month into the season because a guy that they were encouraged by in the spring, remember, now it's a mess. Well, I mean, he ended last season. Uh, with, with a difficult time. People are he did. saying he might be out of here and all this other stuff. He started very slow, hasn't gone much past five innings. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking it's time for an address change for him because I think it's the best thing for him and the best thing for the Mets because he built such a reputation in New York and he's not coming anywhere close to it right now. And it's just tough night in and night out when people think they expect you to throw a no-hitter. So for me, I think it's time to move this guy, get him somewhere in a smaller media market, let him do his thing. Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably the right situation, though. What are you going to get for him? And, you know, look, at the Mets made a decision last year when they brought him back and they signed him for a couple million dollars because they could have non-tendered him. So they said, we're going to bring him back. And it's because they don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want to let him go somewhere else. Right. They think, ah, you know what? What if he gets hot? What if he rejuvenates himself? And that's what they're, you know, they're trying to find that now. But I... I you're 100% right. From a psyche standpoint, he's got to go somewhere else. you got to just go like to a Pittsburgh or go to Milwaukee or something and kind of get lost in that town and, and pitch. I think the problem for the Mets is they needed him to be decent. They, they didn't need him to be the Dark Knight, but they no, needed he, he, him yep. to be. They can't, he can't be a zero for them if they're going to make the playoffs and make a run. So it's a tough spot for them. I just have to talk. We haven't talked enough about Ozzy Albies. But this kid, 21 years old, I like the Altuve thing because mm -hmm. same size. I mean, it's a he just turned 21. It, it, he's turning into a star in front of our eyes, Frank. Well, when you got great players around the league that's talking about him, I saw a tweet from Andrew McCutcheon the other day saying, watch out for this kid because he is real. He is the truth. That's telling me a lot when I'm telling a player like Andrew McCutcheon saying yeah. something like that on Twitter. This kid is doing it all. He's running. He's hitting. Hitting for power. Hitting for average. I mean, what else you want in a second baseman? This guy's a special player. They've raised him. He's there with Warren Washington. I mean, he's got a great tutelage right now, and I know Ron is teaching him the right way, so... Look out for this kid. Could have been all-star this year. I know both of you guys have a lot of respect for Juan Washington. Obviously, you, love you, you both had him. Yeah, love Wash. I, I had an opportunity to play for him when he was coaching in Oakland. Spent a lot of time with him. Uh, you know, is it, a guy that, you know, can instill confidence. There's not a better infield coach in the baseball world at all. And, you know, a lot of success in Texas. Should have won a World Series. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. So now the Braves all of a sudden with Dansby Swanson who struggled last year hitting. And now Albies at second. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We'll see how they continue to do. She's all right. Yeah. She's all right. Him to mother. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That is a really bad yeah, hand right yeah, there. That, whistle, that is. I mean, yeah. that is, that's hurting. Oh. That's our rehearsal for the show, by the way. We, we rehearsed for a show by doing that. We really don't do anything else. Uh, none of the boy bands are going to have to worry about <laughs> not it. Not at all. Right? <laughs> not, not, that, that's, you know, uh, Backstreet Boys go back on tour. Maybe NSYNC, I guess we're not uh, starting with. But Frank's going to start his own dance group. It's Friday right? night, baby. It's Friday night. We're <laughs> doing it. It's Friday night. <laughs> Get it, Come Big on, Hurt. back to the whip. It's Friday night. Big Hurt, he's got a Good. statue. Yes. He can dance. He's in the hall. Don't, he can do it all. Don't pull anything now. You're right, you're, you're right, you're right. It's, it's early. It's early. So <laughs>